If you stopped making Bruh. these mistakes, you'll improve quickly after correcting and do the right things when it comes to sniping. Well, for starters, a mistake that can be the root of all your bad sniping is using the wrong sensitivity. You may have copied yours from a pro player or a content creator or your buddies, but unless you have the exact same fingers and devices, you can't directly copy from others. Too high of a sniper sensitivity may affect your aim whenever you're scoping in, especially when you're doing quick scopes. Too low of a sniper sensitivity can make it hard for you to make that micro adjustment whenever flicking or drag scoping or when tracking enemies while hard scoping. All you have to do is head on training mode and find your middle ground. First, hard scope on this side of the range, fire on the targets and flick to each one without scoping out. Adjust until you find your perfect hard scope sensitivity. Then, do this quick scoping exercise. Aim just outside the targets and try to flick to the center. This will allow you to do micro adjustments on the fly if needed. Again, adjust until you find your perfect quick scoping sensitivity. Do these exercises back and forth until you find your middle ground and apply it to both your camera and firing sensitivities. If you want to be a better sniper, stop using ADS to fire. Commonly known as one tap ADS, it's this one right here. If you're using this and you're doing good, then great. I'm happy for you, but if you're learning how to snipe, you aren't doing yourself any favors using one tap ADS. You're gonna have to wait for the scope in animation to finish before you can fire, and when quick scoping, sometimes you won't be able to fire because you didn't get the timing right. Just do scope to shoot or manual scope and use tap to ADS or tap and hold to ADS. It'll work fine depending on what you're comfortable with. You will be able to snipe faster, allowing you to do blank scopes and no scopes in desperate situations. This is how I do it on a four finger HUD. And this is how I do it on a 5 finger HUD. Using the wrong radical for your sniper may obstruct your view of the enemies and some are so distracting you have to stay away from them. Choose the right radical for your intended purpose. Even though it's a personal preference, I like using the cross dot whenever I'm using the SVD. When looking at the right radical to use, try to look for the one that lets you see clearly where the center of your screen is. Otherwise, using the default radical for sniper rifles works just fine. The most common mistake players in all levels make is scoping in before even centering. For beginners, you will only make sniping harder to learn if you don't do this as you'll constantly be adjusting mid scope in animation or even after scoping in. This will also result in a lot of missed shots because you aren't actually being mindful of your sniping. There are a couple of solutions to this. The first one is to center your crosshair in lanes where enemies might appear. Usual lanes, usual angles, all that stuff. Second solution is to use hand-eye coordination. Focus on the enemy using your eyes, quickly center your crosshair to the target, then scope in. Doing these will take your sniper accuracy from 0 to 100 real quick. If you're playing SND or covering your teammates in a respawn match, your field of view will be limited so you're gonna have a huge blind spot and it will be an easy target because you won't be able to react quickly with how fast the time to kill that guns have in this game. All you need to do is be mindful of your surroundings and spawns as well. Always hardscope while hugging a wall or when in a secure location so you can hardscope safely without worry of getting backstabbed. Also, don't forget to put down your trophy systems because you may get bombarded with grenades. The easiest target to kill in this game is a stationary target. I am guilty of this mistake, usually just standing around and waiting for enemies to pass by. What you can do is strafing whenever you're scanning the area for enemies if you aren't in a perfect head glitch. Strafing while on a head glitch is also good, so try to keep that in mind as well. Another mistake you might be making is using the wrong sniper for the game mode. Respawns as well as search and destroy matches are completely different game modes. Snipers like the Outlaw or SVD are more suited for respawns because of their fast scope in time. Locust without stopping power also works well because of the fast and smooth scope in. DLQ and dry tech are useful for search and destroy because you'd want to use sniper rifles with generous hitboxes that can one shot to the crotch. A quick PSA, snipers aren't. Shotguns. Snipers are built to watch lanes and angles from range, and that's the reason why they have built-in scopes. Try to avoid small areas where you get beat by an AR or SMG, and try to get the gunfight to your advantage and take gunfights from 30 meters and beyond. Not only that, you have to constantly rip position because if the enemy knows you're using a sniper rifle, chances are they will try to chase you. So let the enemies come to you, but if worse comes to worst, they get close to you, use your secondary weapon. Don't quickscope unless you're me. What's your number one sniper tip? 
You'll notice that most of the tips here are more of the basics because that's what people usually forget. Have a strong understanding of the basics and you'll be a way better player. But if you want way better quick scopes and know what are the things you need to master, watch this video about Cisco's secrets to quick scoping. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.